Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, simply add about 15 grams into each of these brewers. I'm going to brew a, a cup for you and uh, for your cameraman as well. I'm just going to add 15 grams, like I said, into each one. The brewer I'm using right now is called a Bee House Brewer. You've already put a uh, filter yeah. in, and before the filter, I noticed you put uh, hot water right. through the filter so that it's it's attached to the it, to the ceramic. Yeah, and I think more importantly is what I'm doing is I'm rinsing any paper taste that's in the filter. I weighed out 15 grams, and I'm going to go grab some water. We're going to uh, get started. You have the hot water and ready to pour. At about 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And like I said, I, I weighed in about 15 uh, grams of coffee into each brewer. And a good ratio to follow is a 1 to 17 ratio. If you have a gram scale, uh, using a 1 to 17 ratio is, is a, a great kind of a baseline to use. So if you take 15 times, so 15 is the amount I've weighed in of, of coffee, times 17, which is the amount of water I'll pour per gram of coffee. Uh, I'm going to be pouring about 255 grams of, of water into each, uh, to finish off each brew. Timing the coffee is, is important. You don't want to pour for too long and over extract the coffee. You don't want to pour in too short of, short of a time and under extract. You want to extract all that's good about the coffee and leave what's bad still in there. What I'm going to do is what's called a pre-infusion. I'm just going to gently add a little bit of water on top of that. And what this allows is for the coffee to kind of sit there and degas a bit. There's gas, gases that are trapped within the grounds. And what we want to do is just allow that coffee to degas a little bit, let the gases escape, and then the grounds are uh, ready then for an introduction of more water to the brew. The coffee bed is going to rise a little bit and then it's going to fall back down. And then I'm just going to add another you know, 30 or 40 grams. So right now, I, all my brewer uh, weights are about 170 grams. So I'm getting close to finishing up the brew. And I'm at about two, two minutes and 35 seconds. So I'm going to really start wrapping up this brew. Now I don't want to go above three and a half minutes. So I'm going to drink so this. I'll, this actually becomes so I'll, I'll get the mug. You, well, it, it certainly could, but I'll, I'll okay. get you an actual mug that you can pour okay. into. But, w but what, what I suggest is when I was doing in the competition, I, I said, uh, you know, because judging the aromatics is part of the competition. It is uh, kind of a neat part of coffee. It's really getting, inhaling the, the aromatics that are coming off of it. So what I suggest when, when you brew for someone is just to get a, your nose in there and really inhale and see what you're going to about to taste, and, and your your nose gives you a great indication of what you're about to enjoy. Mm. Mm. So, I'll uh, give it a smell here. Swirl it around. Give it a smell. I don't think I've ever smelled coffee. I smelled the ground beans, and they're quite nice. So just pour it into the yeah. cup. All right, here we go. All right, Andy, let me let me give it a try here, and uh, bon appetit to you. Mmm. It's definitely not Folgers. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> what what an amazing way to drink coffee, and uh, and I must say, when I brew it at home every morning and make my French press, and my wife gets a pot of tea, it's pretty dark. It's it's a little charred what I make. Right. This has other tones to it, and it's quite delicious. I may even start drinking without any cream. This is good. Thank <laughs> That's you. That's great. You're very welcome.